the South African Bureau of Standards plans to standardize the manufacture of reusable sanitary towels. It's called for public comment on this. The sanitary towels will be mainly made of cotton, which can be washed, sun-dried, and reused. Public commentary is open until the 25th of September. So joining me for this conversation is SABA spokesperson Rochelle Pele, and she joins us from our studios. Rochelle, thanks a lot for joining us this afternoon. I mean, this is also going to be tackling an issue around affordability of sanitary towels, especially for those low-income households and which actually sanitary towels cannot be afforded at this moment? A hundred percent. The new draft standard, which is called South African National Standard 1812, looks at the, the reuse, reusable, washable sanitary towels. And because the manufacture of sanitary towels is expected to increase in South Africa, it is expected to be cheaper. Now, on top of that, I mean, let's look at the issue around affordability. However, at the other side of it, Rochelle, is uh, the issue of the fact that it's being manufactured, right? So individuals and companies are coming forward and manufacturing these reusable sanitary towels. So by regulating it, what are you hoping will actually be the outcome? At this stage, it is just a draft South African standard. We're still going through the stage of public comments, and if there are significant public comments, the technical committee which, is, which has developed the standard will decide whether it needs to be redrafted or whether it will go ahead to publication. Only when the standard is published will the regulators look at making the standard a regulation. At this stage, it is a voluntary standard. We do have manufacturers who have already come to us to ask us to, to start testing, but we do need to wait for the standard to be published. And we are expecting it to be published around March 2020. I mean, of course, you are expecting the public there to actually give commentary to the, uh, you know, the drafted proposal in itself. Or are you anticipating any members of the public saying that, listen, this idea of actually regulating uh, reusable sanitary towels is a bad idea, especially where you would know this, you would appreciate the fact that many individuals are saying it's a hygiene issue, that hygiene comes into play and they want to actually avoid uh, that kind of uh, confrontation. And if you are anticipating that, how do you mitigate against uh, those uh, pushbacks? Okay, that's a very important question. At this stage, um, the, draft, the draft standard has been developed by experts in the field, by, by manufacturers themselves. So a lot of those comments were taken into account during the drafting of the standard. So the focus was to look at the manufacture of the products so that when you guarantee the quality of the products, you can eliminate any kind of misuse in the terms of, of in terms of the production process so that you know that the product that is being um, distributed is going to be of the highest quality. So some of the tests um, during the, after the product has been manufactured includes things like microbiological tests to ensure that there's no bacteria in it. It tests to make sure that the, the sanitary towel would do what it says that it would do. It is also important to, to note that the draft standard includes a lot of packaging and user requirements. A lot of the, the use of the product will be determined by the, the end user and the consumer. So it is important to note that the standard is around the external use of sanitary towels and it absolutely cannot be shared. I mean, on the other side of it, I mean, you're talking here about the quality of, of the product in itself, but I'm sure you can appreciate the fact that public perception still is one uh, hurdle to get over. In other words, members of the public saying that this is not a product I want to even use simply because of the misconceptions that are associated with it. So then in that sense, then how do you start reaching out to the end user, that person that has to take the sanitary towel and use it and um, actually dispel some of the myths that are associated with the nature of the product in itself? That will take a lot of um, education. It will also take some experience with the product for people to gain confidence of the way that it works. Um, the standard, and, and that's what's been developed, is it kind of looks at the absorbency rates. So users will have to be educated to understand that they would need to use various sanitary tiles for different periods of the cycle. And in that, the quality of the product is 
will make people change their minds and it will encourage people to use more. It's important to remember that these products are currently on the market. So there are people that are using them, people who, who are environmentally friendly, who want to reduce the, the impact to the to the landfills and, and reduce plastic are starting to use them. People with sensitive skins are starting to use them. Also, these products are very common in many of the African countries, many of the more developed countries. So it will take a little bit of getting used to in terms of South African usage, but 100% people will, turn, will start to come around to it based on affordability, based on accessibility. This is something that, that will keep more girls in school. It will help people who are, who are unable to, to get to, to facilities to use more. It contributes towards the, the sanitary Shall dignity. Shall we leave a conversation there? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Yeah.